All right, guys, Kevin with Kevin Fishes here. Back with these four Abu Garcia reels that I purchased recently. Um, I've taken them off the poles, got them laid out here on the uh, towel here on the coffee table. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through each of these. Uh, I'll try and get you as much sound out of them as I can so you see what they sound like before we take them apart, see what they look like before we take them apart. And then uh, as I get them taken apart, cleaned up, get a, a parts list, see if they need anything, uh, we'll, we'll get a plan of action. Now, I am no professional real maintainer or cleaner or taker aparter, okay? Don't think I'm trying to go with this like I'm telling y'all what, what to do because I don't know anything about these Abu reels. This will be my first time taking one apart. You'll be doing it with me. Um, I also don't know the names of these parts on these things on the insides, so I'm probably going to call them thingamajigs and whatchamacallits, and uh, if y'all know what the real part names are, if there's something I need, uh, drop me a comment down there at the bottom. Let me know what I've got, all right? With that, we're going to start on my left with the uh, surprise one. I say surprise because the label is rubbed off, and I can't tell exactly what model it is. So that's one we're gonna start with. I'm just gonna set these other three to the side and uh, I will get up and rearrange the camera so it's focusing down here on the towel, on the reel, uh, and my hands and not looking at my ugly mug in the, uh, up here. Uh, so hopefully y'all have a better view of what's going on. All right, as I'm looking, I cannot make out anything on this that tells me a model. I'm sure there is a serial number somewhere. There's got to be something that tells me what I'm looking at. So as we dig into it, we'll see what we can find. Let me make listen to it. I'll put it up here by the camera, see if you can hear. It has just the slightest little squeak and just not the smoothest. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Okay, the button to cast pushes easy, it releases easy. The brake spins free and can tighten or loosen easily. The star drag seems to work fine. Too tight, fine. Have I got it too tight already? There we go. All right, the level wind is moving. If you'll remember in my initial video on these, one of these, the level wind doesn't move. So we'll have to figure out what's causing that. So let's see if we can remove this line. Oh, 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 oh mash my finger in that level wind, pinching me. All right, well, here we go, boys. We're going to take her apart. Look All right, doesn't look too bad on the inside. Not like I thought that it would. Of course, that's just the first cover. It is dirty, but it's not terrible. Plastic gears, no metal gears. I'm just gonna wipe this out good. There's one of the bearings. Just using a screwdriver to push the rag up and around the tight spots that are a little harder to get to. Sticking the screwdriver in there, the bearing seems to spin freely. And I tell you boys, I need glasses. I'm going to shine a little bit more light on the situation. I'm not sure. Looks like there's a tiny little keeper that holds those 
bearings on, or those uh, gears on there. I'm not going to try and take that off because I don't want to lose it. It's fairly clean in there now. that part of it this part of it right here I'm just gonna wipe down good that was just a little bit dirty not bad little bit of gunky grease on these. Not terrible. Let me see if I can clean that around that a little bit. Well, that just comes right out, I think. Yeah, this definitely needs to be cleaned. Let's see. I'm learning as we go here, boys. I don't know about taking these things apart. So we're exploring. I think that needs to come off. All the movement there. What makes that come out of there? You see lots of dirt and grease. Lots of lots of use on that I would say. But it's just a little bit of a rub. It cleans up real well. Sorry, I left my phone in the way. Now the line guide slides freely. I'll put just a little bit of lubrication on that to help it out. I don't see anywhere on, I think this is a worm gear maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't see enough wear of any kind to cause me any concern there at all. Alright, let's take this other cover off. Oh, now oh, the spool's coming out there for me. Let's see here. Didn't expect that to come out just yet, but that came out easy. Spool's looking good. Start on the side. Oh, 
so far, this one looks like it needs nothing but a good cleaning. That's it. I'm just putting a little bit of three-in-one oil on here to break up some of this grime. Now I'm a little leery of taking all this apart because I got a feeling there are going to be a bunch more moving parts in there that I'm not going to know what to do with them. But we're going to dive into it and we'll see what we can find. And if she comes apart and makes a mess, I'm going to cry help. Well, that screwdriver too big. Come loose. What else has got me on there? The whole handle here. I'm not taking that apart because that looks like a, a whole project I'm trying to cross for myself that I don't know what I'm doing. So, we're going to put these little screws back in there. Just give her a little shot of oil and see if that smooths it up enough to make me happy. I'm going to have to do a little research before we go too much further. Figure out just what's in here, what happens when I take stuff out. I hate to make a big mess. Alright, so there's that turning. Now don't y'all fuss too much. I know 3-in-1 oil is not what you're supposed to use on a reel, but I don't have any reel grease. So I'm going to give it just a touch of 3-in-1 three, three oil, the old standby. Just I'm going to give it just a little, just like, by little I mean just like a drop or two in each of these holes. And we're just going to spin it. Oh yeah. Just that little bit of three-in-one oil freed it up tremendously. Alright, so now that I've done that, let's see if anything wants to break loose. Any gunk? You can tell I really know what I'm doing because I'm playing uh, caveman and I'm just banging it. So again, don't take this to be that I know exactly what I'm doing because I'm learning as I go. And I'm going to let that soak for a little bit. We'll be back in a minute, guys. Alright, guys, we're back. We've let this sit in oil. Well, let the three-in-one oil sit on this for about 15 minutes. Just letting it do its thing. And it is better every time I come back to it. So I think... That is going to be good enough. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on this case just to clean it up. Well, it helps if I open that up. Just to help shine that case up a little bit. Get some of the grease and gunk off the outside of it. And then this. I'm kind of 
sure sometimes it does. Not like a mad scientist, I guess. The way some of this stuff turns out. So I don't know if any of this is going to be perfect or even better. But we're going to see. That definitely makes glasses. I can barely see these screws. Old eyes. All right, she is back together. Smooth. Not perfect, not perfect at all, but not bad either. Just the least little bit of a feel in there, like there's maybe a bearing that needs to be replaced. Anyway, there she sits. A little bit cleaner, not not perfect, but a little bit cleaner than it was. Uh, definitely better than it was. I don't know if earlier I could hear the squeak when I was cranking it. I don't know if you could, but let's listen. There's definitely no squeak in it now. So this one is much better, and it's ready to get some line on it. All right, guys, that was a long way through to, to look into this little reel. Let me know what you think. If you know the model on this, let me know the model. And we'll be doing one of these others here on another afternoon. I think I've had enough. I'm going to get some supper. All right, guys. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me as we went through this reel. Uh, I didn't learn a whole lot about it. It wasn't bad looking inside. I did find some gunk like, like I expected. I found some dirt that needed to be cleaned out. Overall, though, not bad at all on the inside of this. Just a little bit that I did to it definitely helped. If I'd have gone ahead and taken this other side apart, I believe I'd have got a little bit better feel out of it. There's just a little bit, just the slightest little bit of grit feeling in it as I turn. Uh, I'm going to have to study and figure out what happens when I take everything out over here. I, I just don't want this to come apart and be something I don't know what I'm doing to fix it. So there we have it. Let me know what you think. I appreciate y'all taking the time to sit with me while I went through this. Goodbye. God bless.